Hey guys, this is Rick Hudson with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV. We are out at the range and I've got the Modoc. Now we've had this rifle for a while. Really like these cartridge guns. I like the possibilities that they open up for us air gunners. This gun is finally hitting where we want it to hit. We've got our own cast bullets that we made a couple weeks ago. These turned out really, really nice. Cecil's over there filling the cartridges. Look at these. These are some pretty nice looking bullets. Well, that, was, that one must have been done by Aaron. That's a pretty nice looking bullet. Anyway, we've got a target set up at 50 yards. We're just shooting with open sights. We tried scoping it, but really, this gun, it's a planes gun. It's supposed to be used like this. So we're seeing if we can get some consistency at 50 yards. So far, Cecil shot it. Did pretty doggone good, but now it's my turn. Thank you, Cecil. You're very welcome. We can fill these guys up. They can take up to 4,000 PSI, 4,500 PSI, really. We're actually shooting them right around 3,000, which I've found to be really consistent. All right, so Cecil, you say you're balancing the target like a ball, huh? Yes, I am. Um, I think that went right by the bullseye, Cecil. So get your glasses on that, that boy. So this is how we fill these up. These are the individual cartridges. The rifle ships with a block like this. Go ahead and drop cartridges in here. They can fill three at a time, which is cool, that's why we But they also ship a couple dummy cartridges, so I'll tell you about something really cool here in a second. They ship a couple dummy cartridges, just in case you want to fill just one. You've got these and it blocks everything out but you just pull the one cartridge. The other thing that's really cool, for you guys that are concerned about, you know, oh, the cartridge is gonna wear out, it's gonna leak, it's gonna this. Well, yeah, I mean, it's got O-rings, they're gonna wear out. But what they're doing, which is very cool, something I really, really push for, they have a cartridge replacement program. For two years after you buy the gun, they will repair or replace any leaky cartridges at no charge. You ship them back the cartridge, they ship you back a fresh cartridge. That's pretty doggone cool. You can drop it in a $5 priority mail box and you're done. Brand new cartridge or they'll give you a rebuilt one. And that's for two years after you buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up. Now you can take these up to 4,500, but I found that to be a little hot. So we're just filling to just over three. Good job improving the consistency of these cartridges to get them where they, they just work really well. They've also redesigned the fill system from the first models. That was working a whole lot better too. All right. There we go. There you are. Now, if you wonder if these hold air, I've left these full for a week, two weeks. They still have air in them when I go to shoot them. So, not that I, I don't know that I want to store them that way all the time, but if you're curious, if you're going to fill them up and then take them on a hunt, and if they're still going to have air, they definitely hold their air. You shouldn't have any problems. All right, so these are 105 grain bullets we cast ourselves. These were super easy to do once we learned how to do it. We sort of figured it out as we went along. All right, so this is a 3,000, about 3,200 PSI fill. 814 feet per second. Now maybe one of the guys here will do that math for me and we'll figure out what kind of power we're actually getting out of our rifle here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shoot six of them. 
eight of one. The whole idea behind this type of system is that from one shot to the next, you, you try and keep some some of your consistency. There's eight fourteen again. And I've had really good consistency with this rifle. Eight twenty one. Eight ten on the rock out there. I just keep peppering it. <laughs> Last shot. 811. So that's not bad. Maybe about a 20 foot per second spread across all those out of a big bore. That ain't bad at all. Cecil, you got some numbers for me? 155 foot pounds of energy. There you go. 155 foot pounds at 3,000 psi, which means if you wanted to get a little crazy and take it up with more power, you've got lots of power to reserve. You could probably push this close to 200, maybe more. Uh, more than 200 foot pounds. Exactly, and at 100 yards, you still have 100 foot pounds of energy. Woo! Goodness. All right, well, let's fill these guys up and I'm gonna shoot that big target. So we lowered the side a little bit, right, Cecil? Yes, we did. Okay, I'm gonna shoot three shots and you can shoot three shots. Does that work? Uh, <laughs> I should quit. <laughs> That's uh, like probably touching the red, buddy. Oh. I'm calling that done, see, so that is like three shots, like all like right around maybe a couple inches at that. If that. That's stinking awesome, man. All right, your turn, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to get look at it. Yep. Then they're not hitting the top edge of the target. Three. You have one, two, and three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I think we can call that done, eh? I, I would say so. I was seeing if I had to tape measure on my Gerber to see, you know. Well, uh, that was, I don't know, that was three <laughs> inches. Yeah, that's three inches, but I mean, the majority of them right here, I think this was just us. Yeah, this, this was my, I think that was my first shot, just getting used to it. Yep. No, that was my first shot. I just, well, it's, it's a long way to wait with open sight. <laughs> with open sight, yeah. <laughs> well, your blade, I was aiming like right here. About where I was, yeah. Too. Yeah. And I mean, the blade took off like that. Yeah. That whole thing. No, that right is, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's all that done. So, Cecil, you're a fan? I'm definitely a fan, and I think that that 3,000 psi, that's that just that sweet spot. Yeah. Um, at least for with these bullets, it is. Well, we've had this for a while, and we've been sort of through the ringer. I mean, we're gonna be honest about it. Yeah. But they've got the cartridges really stabilized. They've got the fill system really stabilized, and they've got that cartridge exchange program. So if you invest in this. You know you're not going to be stuck with some dumb, dead cartridges. Or exactly. Yeah. You're... Well, I'm I'm a super fan. I uh, I like it without the scope. Uh, better than trying to scope it. It feel it feels better, more ergonomically uh, correct to shoot it without a scope. Yeah. Accuracy is there. It's just a matter of putting in some trigger time, and really good bullets. And these guys, we just made ourselves out of scrap lead. So. Yeah, just some old semi used yeah. pellets and pellets that weren't any good. And... Yep. Guys, this is Rick Hughes with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. And Cecil Babes with Airgun Cow. Thanks for watching. Yeah, there you go. Just, just left of the boat. Yeah, that, that would get it done, Cecil. Oh, yeah. And that's open sights, 50 yards with slugs.